welcome back to my channel. Today I have a swatch and review of some polishes from Madame Glam. I have Red Black, Vintage Girl, Dark and Classy, Another Glass, and Endless Night to share with you today. Here are some bottle shots. The first one that I'm starting with is Red Black. As you can see from this macro bottle shot, it is a deep wine colored burgundy color. So I'm just going to show you me swatching on my nail. All right, so I had a little bit of a learning curve with these, as you will see from watching me swatch red black. So they're very thick, and they have sort of a crelly jelly consistency. But what I really struggled with was the brush. It's a great brush. It's about a standard size. It's not super wide, but it's very thick and dense. So what I struggled with was figuring out how to maneuver it on my nail and how much polish to um, get out on the brush. This is almost a one coater. If you saw it in person, you could see why I decided to go ahead and do two coats. But yeah, it's, it's kind of thick, but once you figure out the brush, it's pretty easy to do nice thin layers. I struggled with red black a little bit because like I said, there was a little bit of a learning curve for the brush. And because of that, I wound up applying red black a little too thickly. And so you'll see when I go back in on my second coat, I expected that it would be dry and it wasn't. So I wound up pulling the polish a little bit. If I had one negative thing to say about these guys, it would be that they don't dry super fast. Um, I, I don't swatch a ton, a ton. I'm not a prolific swatcher, but I do swatch, you could see right there, the polish pulling a little bit. I do swatch, you know, a fair amount, and so I'm pretty accustomed to how long I need to wait for dry time in between coats, and this one was a little bit longer. I wouldn't necessarily call that a negative to the polish, but it just does mean that you're going to need to wait a little bit between coats, and it may be because the polish tends to go on a little bit thicker than your standard cream is the reason that it took a little bit longer. And up, oh, there you go, there's the money shot. You see me pull it a little bit. I was able to fix it by just dabbing it back into place. So red, black, and indirect lighting. It did translate just mostly black to my nail. And the next one I have is another glass. This was the favorite for me. So it is a reddish blackened jelly base with fuchsia or magenta, I never know the difference, uh, micro glitters, just really densely packed in there. This one, ladies and gentlemen, is a one coat wonder. That's right, just one medium easy coat. I wouldn't call it a thin coat, but it's also not thick and chunky on my nail. Just a very nice easy coat. Boom, done. I loved this one. The formula was perfection. The brush was the same as on Red Black, but I had learned my lesson after Red Black. So I didn't have any issues with this. You have to kind of push the brush into your nail a little bit more firmly to get it to flatten out and splay across your nail. So yeah, this one was definitely my favorite. I'd love to see what it looks like matte. So here is my swatch photo in direct artificial lighting. The third one of the bunch is dark and classy. This one is very, very similar to red black, but it has more of an indigo purpley kind of base to it instead of the reddish burgundy. So this one is another almost one coater. Um, it did have a couple of uh, not really streaks, but just not as opaque areas on my nail. So I did wind up doing two coats. This one's formula was identical to red black. Um, and as you can see, it almost looks identical on the nails, red black. When I was um, picking these off the website, because they asked me which ones I wanted to swatch, um, some of them, because they're newer, they're fall polishes, they did not have swatch photos online. They just had bottle shots. And as you can see from my bottle shot, you can definitely see a difference. So. When I was picking them, I didn't realize they would all look so similar on the nail. Definitely, you do not need all three because honestly, on the nail, they all just look like a slightly different shade of black. They're all gorgeous. They all have nice 
jelly formulas, which I really, really like. But yeah, they all translate the same color on the nail. So here is my second, um, my second coat. This is just kind of a insurance coat, just to make sure I didn't mess anything up when I was swatching. These almost have like a um, gel-like appearance, like gel polish. Um, before I really got into polishing, I used gel polish pretty much exclusively. I would go to the salon, I would get a mani done, and then they would do the UV cured gel polish for me. And this has a very similar consistency to that. Very, very glossy. So here is my swatch photo of dark and classy and indirect, I'm sorry, indirect artificial lighting. The next one up is my second favorite. This one is Vintage Girl. This is a very classic mauve shade. I didn't think I was going to like this one because I was like, that's a grandma shade. But it actually, it was so shiny and so gorgeous and it was just one or two shades off from a classic mauve. It looks like it in the bottle, but then when you swatch it, it just takes on a different life. So I felt very classic, uh, very beautiful with this color. This one was more creamy than jelly. It still had that very high gloss effect to it, similar to the other two creams in the bunch, but it was less jelly, uh, much more traditional cream. This one also could have been a one coater if you do a, a thicker coat. I try to always do as thin of coats as possible just to prevent chipping. So I did do two coats of this one. I kind of wonder if any of these stamp actually because they are so opaque. Wouldn't it be cool if another glass stamped because it's got all that shimmer in it? It'd be really pretty. That needs to be on my list of experiments. So Madame Glam is a boutique brand which is kind of somewhere between um, mainstream and indie. Um, they don't hand mix but they are only available through their own store and they are based out of, a, out of New York but they're only available to purchase online. So that is it for Vintage Girl, and here is my swatch photo in direct artificial lighting. The final one in the bunch is Endless Night, and I thought this one was going to be my favorite because you can see the hint of blue in there. It's like this inky black blue. Totally gorgeous. But, 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 there's always a but. It also looks black on the nail. It's just none of the blue comes through. Now, to be fair, I did not get any sun shots of these because it has been incredibly dark, overcast, cloudy, rainy, just crappy, you name it, kind of weather. So I was not able to get sun shots of these. I don't know if you'd be able to see a bigger difference in natural lighting, but in, in just your regular artificial lighting, which is where I spend most of my time, I mean, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I stay with my kids and we, you know, we go places and stuff, but most everywhere we go is, unless it's the summertime, it's mostly indirect lighting. So, um, yeah, I, I was really disappointed that it just showed up mostly black on my nail. So it was disappointing, but I did wind up using this one as a base for nail art, which I will show you in a different video, but I really, really loved how it looked. I actually wound up wearing Endless Night, and like I said, because I did nail art over it, and I removed it today, and it stained the crap out of me when I was removing. Um... It looks black on the nail, but when I removed it, it um, you could definitely see the blue. And it was all in my cuticles, and I had to scrub down and stuff. So for me, that is kind of a deal breaker on a polish, um, just because I don't have time for that. And my hands have to look nice, so I can't have any residual staining. So even though she's beautiful, Endless Night and I will probably never meet again. So yeah, I... Um, <clears throat> I don't know about red, black, or dark and classy if they stain or not because I used a peel off base coat since I was swatching those. But if I find that out, I will let you guys know. So here is Endless Night in Direct Artificial Lighting.
that is it, guys. You can pick these up at madamglam.com. Please check my blog for more information, www.pishposhpolish.com. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.